Hey guys, it's Aaron. So this is a question that has come up many, many times on our forum. This is when somebody puts in their structure, they get, they get their walls all in and they draw a rectangle on the outside of the wall and they go to push pull through to the other side to put a window in and something happens where they can't do it. So for whatever reason, they can't get a window to go through the wall. And I came up with five things I can think of that would prevent you from being able to put push pull a window through a wall. So let's look at those five things. All right, first thing, let's just get a clear example of what it is we're trying to do here. So the idea is if I grab a rectangle, I put it in here, then I use push pull. What I should be able to do is go through here, snap to the back, boom. Now I have a window in that wall. So here's some reasons that that might not work. Here's the first one, and this one is very common. So I grab my rectangle, I put it on here, I go to push pull, and I put, wait, what? Let's make sure I snap to the back side. Wait, that looks like it should. Well, I'll delete this and nope, still nothing. All right, so the issue that's happening here is that there's a giveaway right here. See that flickering? That's telling me that I have multiple faces. If I click right here, see how that all lights up? This is in a group. If your wall geometry is in a group, you need to have the rectangle you create in the same context as the wall. So if I want to come in here and put a window in this wall, it's fine. I can keep it in the group. What I want to do though is double click. That way I enter the wall group and I can tell them in there because if I pick one face, it gets highlighted. Now I can come in here with my rectangle, draw it in and use push pull to push it through. There we go. And now I can click outside and exit. So that's number one. Here's number two, because this happens also right here. If I go to, I got my rectangle already. If I go to push pull, I'm seem to be pushing my wall instead of my rectangle. Well, this happens a lot too. This rectangle is in its own context. It's in a, a group or component. What people sometimes do is they draw the rectangle once and they copy it as a group and put it where they want it. That's awesome because that assures that my rectangle is the same for all my windows. Problem is you can't push pull a face inside of a component through raw geometry or geometry in another group or component. So what I'll have to do in this case is explode that rectangle and now I can push pull that back and get that in there. All right, so there's two, here's three more. All right, here's another one. I draw my window, this is a little fancier than just my rectangle, but when I go to push pull, my whole wall's lighting up and not the, not the, the window I drew. Well, in order for push pull to work, a couple things have to happen. One is that you have to have a closed face and two, it has to be planar or snap to the same face as the wall you're pushing through. So this guy right here looks good, except if I zoom way, in, whoop, too far. If I zoom way in here and see there's a gap in the outline. That's, I can tell there's an issue because see how it's in this nice big dark line. I actually have my profiles turned on specifically so I can see the difference. Watch how it changes when I close up this shape. Oops, see how it turned thinner? That indicates that this line is actually breaking geometry. So now I can go to push pull and push this back through and get a hole there. Perfect. Up next, we have what is probably the most common issue that I see on the forum. So this is, I got my wall, it's out of context. So it's just a wall. I'm gonna draw my rectangle on here. I'm gonna go to push pull. I'm gonna push it back here and I get something like this, or if I go nice and slow, I get something like this. I see this image on the forum about once every two weeks. The problem here, if I look down from above, it's, it's, it's hard to see, but you can kind of tell if I come in here and I grab my dimensions and look at this end, this end is six inches, this end, oops, this end, is seven and 11 16 This is not rectangular. So no matter what I do, I'm not gonna be able to get this to snap to the back and cleanly cut it through. So what is the solution here? Well, the real solution 
is to get this being back to six inches. So in this, the simple solution here is to just draw a line along the red axis right here, and then I can push this down. That gets that now to even six inches, so I can just go like that and snap it right on there. All right, the last thing, and this is a user issue. This is something people have a hard time with this. I come in here and I go to push pull and for whatever reason, because the view you're on or something, I can't get it to snap to that back wall. It keeps popping through like this. Or I'm ending up just short of that back wall so I have this, but it's not cutting through. This is just a snapping issue. You're not snapping to the back. So what you can always do, so here I'm gonna go ahead and leave this all the way out. I'm gonna click once, click and release, so I'm not holding the mouse at all. What you can do now is you can orbit around to the back of the wall and just snap anywhere on that wall. So I can go to the surface, I can go to an edge, I can go to a corner, anything to assure that this is snapping to that flat back edge and click right there. That's gonna assure you go all the way through. If for whatever reason you can't, I can't get it, I can't get it to snap here for whatever reason, what you can always do is just run it through like this. I said you should be able to snap it. You can always bring it back at that point and go to the wall like that. If that's out of your control, you can't do that either. The end, the, for all of these, for a lot of these, here's the final solution that will fix all those problems is to grab this geometry, right click, intersect faces with selection, and then you can just come in here and delete that extra geometry and there you go. That'll even work on out of plane walls. I'm not saying you should leave your walls out of plane. You should fix them so they're uniform width throughout. But if there's ever a situation, I don't know, maybe it's a remodel or something like that where the wall actually does get bigger, um, you can do that. You can push it all the way through, intersect it, and then trim off the excess. And that will give you an opening that goes all the way through the wall. So I don't know if you've ever run into any of these. If so, that will probably, that's everything. I spent a while trying to think of all the examples, ran through the forum, search for the term window. Those are all the examples I could think of. If you thought of another one, if you ever hit anything else, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you liked that video and it helped you at all, go ahead and like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week around here and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. Have you ever run into an issue like this? How did you get around it? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when showing something you wanna see. Thank you.